being played. I've never seen him play in HDR, but I can imagine to be somewhat Is that similar. Flash? Oh, I see Flash over there in the distance. Uh, I see him as well. Oh, shoot, what? Lucario, okay. Oh, I guess he's playing Lucario now, fuck. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Okay, so he went to the, uh, at Ramapo during the year we would host uh, HDR tournaments towards mm -hmm. the end, right? You know, I, I, <laughs> I kind of got, wait, what the hell is that? Yeah, so, <laughs> oh my, <laughs> yeah, so I, from PM, Lucario has an air command grab, like the, the air side beat. Now it's just sending you down. Like, he, he freaking, like, swings you around and throws you down, like a freaking Dragon that's Ball. That's crazy. Yeah. It feels like he has, like, a Dragon Ball Z move. Yeah, that's crazy good. <laughs> Yeah, he also has like jump cancels aerials. Yeah, so Lucario has, and I think the other fighting game characters. Well, they made him like a fighting game character in P in P PM, and then they could have brought over those mechanics like Ryu and Terry in this game. So he can cancel like jabs and the tilts and the smash and the specials. And there's like, so it's kind of like a oh, like a Gatling system, like, get it, see, I get like it. Guilty Gear or like they oh, call it like the Magic series and like Marvel. And he can like jump cancel some of those stuff. So yeah, he. So yeah, you, that was like a tilt jab in this special. Okay, that's that's yeah, no, I, I see it now. That's really interesting. I feel like uh, in theory, this character is really interesting. At least Lucario. Yeah, the, the, yeah, just like the base like combo tree you could probably do with this character is insane. Wait, he got that big of an aura sphere at at zero. Oh my God, what? Okay, Lucario is insane. Because I remember at Ramapo we would host HDR brackets, and Larson came to like I think one or one of came to our last our final one the monthly, and he got like second um, to to a resident Bowser player, um, and he played like Lucario or something with it I think. Okay. Um, and I was just like, what is this pick? Like, he played Pepper and then he like switched to Lucario. But I think he's just like fucking with Lucario. Uh, it's Pam now. Don't don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't try to like, <laughs> listen, I, I don't know who's like telling you this, who's like feeding lies into your ears, but I don't think that's, that's, that's not what God intended. Dude, I, I saw Tony <laughs> say it once, so I'm, I'm going with Tony. I use the Pam, it's Pam, no it's not, it's <laughs> Byron Mithropolis. <laughs> right, anyway, that poor air is going to take it for Lardo. Yeah, Lardo's low-key kind of brain. Larson's a very, very good player. I feel like this this would be like a top eight match. Yeah, honestly, I, if these guys both make it in the top eight, I would not be surprised. Yeah. Oh my goodness, the, was that a triple? The quadruple? That was a like quadruple in a wizard fight. That sounds like a great band name. The wizard's foot? Yeah, the wizard's foot. Oh my god, this guy is just absolutely running the Larson down. Yeah, so like, I, I, Lucario still has like that aura mechanic that he has in like base Ooh. ultimate and like every other game he's in. But the problem is that against Ganon, like he kills you so early that, no it, really yeah, you probably don't have enough time to actually take advantage of that. Yeah. And the teching in this game is very interesting. Very interesting. Because, uh, I feel like teching, tech chasing in general in this game is a lot more prominent, and it's a lot. Wow, that's actually insane. Tech chasing is gonna like insane. Yeah. So the, I think it's like in melee where once you miss a tech, you're locked out of teching for like. A certain amount of frames afterwards. Yeah, it's like 20. Maybe yeah, it's like 20 there. or something like that. So, because of that, in this game, like if you try to tech and you get hit by a move before you hit the ground, yeah. then you're locked out of teching for your next hit. So like you, you really have to know the opponent opponent's character's combo tree yeah. to know like, all right, this is actually the point where I have to tech. Like you can't just tech every time you get close to the ground. Cause yeah. it, they might combo you, and then you can't tech later. Definitely. <laughs> It's so funny. I'm on Twitter and there's like this tweet and it's like Melee is so hilarious. You get two completely random people to fight with their heart on their screen. A pre-calc high schooler versus Forbes 30 under 30. And then this guy quote tweeted it with an image of JJM who's like a big tall 30 year old from New Jersey versus OG kid who's like a 12 year old from Florida. <laughs> Yeah, dude, Smash is weird like that. Like, <laughs> it's so funny. Dude, we have that like every week at Kingdom Padrino. Is Padrino versus like Syrup playing? Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, this guy has like three kids playing, like, <laughs> and Syrup yeah. is just like a high schooler. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Syrup's like a high schooler. He's like 16, 15 years old. Or something yeah, like that. Padrino has like a mortgage. He has three yeah, kids. Yeah, he's like, like paying off his mortgage every month. You yeah. Know? Living an honest life. Meanwhile, Syrup is just like, man, I got finals next week. He's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, bro, I got like my exams. I got to study for my PSAT. Like. Yeah, my <laughs> PSAT. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but Malarson, Loki, coming back to this game, Malarson's kind of kind of bringing his back like a lot. Like, like he's kind of figuring out the Ganon matchup a little bit. Understanding, yeah, I just have to get a lead and just go with it. 
but also he's being a lot more conservative and a lot more like you know bait and punishing at least from what i'm, I'm noticing Lardo was just using the tip net what, what the oh that was kind of weird i don't know what happened but Larson. Larson's also one of these players where his mental can kind of depend on how, how the game is going. Like, you, you do see him like taking breaths after each stock and such. You got to be very careful with your mental in this game because HDR seems like a very fast-paced game, and I feel like having like a not so confident mental and not so strong sometimes like, it could fall through. You, you got to be very careful with that. But Larson so far not really letting that get to him because he's putting up quite a lot of numbers in the board here. Yeah, and also about the mental game, like it's very easy to die in this game. Yeah. Especially after the recovery nerf that hit everyone except for Duck Hunt. Um, <laughs> yeah. It, it is very easy to just randomly like lose a stock off stage because you had like bad DI and you got sent at the worst angle possible. Exactly. This game is just like very pick. It's not even pick and choose. Just everybody fucking dies here. Like. Yeah. There's a reason. There's a reason why they run four stocks instead of three crit ultimate. Yeah, exactly. I, I'd rather it be four stocks. I felt like with a faster paced game, you have to run four stocks. Yeah. But I like the combos coming up from Larson. Like he actually understands like these low percent combos, cancels and such. He definitely has like a lot of mastery over this character. And Lardo, overall, just again, a little warlord out here. He knows what he's doing. He's like, oh he's my smash. goodness! Yeah. That smash one's out of the park. Is. Home run coming out from Lardo. Going to take the next stock. And Lardo, definitely, he, he's a momentum player, I think. When he gets, like, one hit, he's just able to kind of fear factor you into the next and the next until your stock is gone. Yeah, that, that just kind of works out perfectly for the character he's playing. Exactly. That's what he does in uh, Heat Buster. He plays Ganon Link. So he traps you with Link and then fucks you with Ganon. And you're like, wow. <laughs> this guy's good. I like the, air, the aerial grab is kind of cool, actually. I like looking at it. The animation's awesome. Oh, no. It, it's actually a really cool command grab to get hit by... I wonder what Lucario's down here is. It's still the same. Oh, really? Yeah, the, the command grab is side boot. Um, down air. Yeah, yeah. Down, really? air, down air is still the the, the toe taps. I have not seen the wires in these ones. <laughs> I feel like that'd be a good move, but I guess not, right? I think you, can, I think you can still do like down air side boot command grab in this game. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, but Larson, he has, he has a decent amount of aura. He has Lardo at ledge, but Lardo, again, he yeah. is able to kind of bring this back. Just I think he's Ganon. Yeah, I think one thing that Lardo is doing is that he's focusing way too much on getting his counters. Like, he got four in a row in the last game, but, like, Lardo's just, or er, Larson's just, just shielding all of them and punishing him for it. Exactly. He's just kind of letting it happen. Yeah, see, look, he went for it again. It didn't get anything off yeah. of it. You just have to. Whoa, what, what was that? I, I looked away, but I saw. Oh wait, I can look at the replay on the stream. <laughs> oh, what was? Yeah, what was? Yeah, that? yeah, yeah. What was that? <laughs> the freaking stream delay. Jesus Christ. Thank you, stream. Uh, I don't know if we need to send that to the devs. Is that potential? Nah, like, there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, Malarson just kind of getting these combos off. Lardo has lost pretty much all his momentum since that first game. Oh wow, that. I feel like he could just go off stage and grab him with that with the, uh, with command grab. Malarson living there. Good for him, okay. He's trying to get a little bit of a spice off. Spice Man Malarson is going to lose that stock, unfortunately. Wow. That's true. We should call Malarson's gameplay spicy. Yeah. He, he, is, the, he is the Spice Man. Yeah. It's his Twitter app, by the way. That was, a, that was a, okay, like a really close game. Yeah, but Malarson bringing the heat that game. Oh, yeah. Too yeah. hot for Laro to handle. <laughs> Too hot to handle, baby. That's crazy. That's a show. I remember everyone was talking about that show. Oh, that's a show. I just yeah. the same thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Oh, no, they don't have a stage list. All right, hold on. Let me pull it up. I'm about to doom right now. I'm, lo I'm looking up the stage list right now. <laughs> Come on. What stage? It's under rule. Cargo Falls? Oh, fuck that stage. Yeah, okay. Um, Please tell me it's fine. PSG Battlefield, Snatchville, Hall of Bastion. Uh, Monarch, that's the starters. Counterpicks are Final Destination, Midgar, and Great Bay. Oh, thank God. Uh, I don't think there's this on so. No. If it's not there, it's no. Yeah, you get three man. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit of a rule set. Uh, clarification. I mean, I don't think this game has like a unified rule set yet. No, definitely not. I feel like that's one of the things that, like, not... Yeah, oh, by the way, this is still going, right? Three, two, no, one, go! Sort of, not really. 
It's kind of a loud gasp or loud uh, exhale. <laughs> I thought you said a lot of gas. <laughs> no gas. No, he's not a farter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're, we're, we're dropping. We're dropping this. We're dropping this line of commentary and <laughs> going back to the match. Yeah. We're back to the match. I mean, hey, it's not really much. It's changing. Lardo's still going for down airs and tech chases. I think he kind of realizes that Lars is a good opponent. I'd be like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step back. Yeah, I see another another down air coming out from Lardo. Dude, I definitely see him landing with it here. No, like Nair, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. No, no, no. See, Nair is really good in this advantage because it has just a massive hitbox. It's, it's kind of hard to, to and contest. It lasts. Yeah, and it has two hits, so it's very active. Yeah. So. I was looking at it, like, the leg was out for so long. Like, next time you. <gasps> okay, so I had to stop talking <laughs> yeah. in case. That was an important, important story moment. Yeah. Like, next time you, he's probably gonna do something. Like oh, shoot. Like this might be death. No, it's not. Right. Okay, I, I like that, but. Couldn't parry everything. Wow, so you actually have to like time those parries if you want to do that to Lucario. Good Nair off stage. I think he dies here. No, no the float. His soul's float. Wow. Good float. Forward throw? Nope, that's up there. He's kind of playing for the back air. Yep, and the back air he gets. Taking that first log. Okay, and Lardo. Again, like Lardo takes up so much space because he's gaining. What a read coming off of him, that up smash. Yeah, like Ganon just standing there with up smash covers so much stuff from lead. Yeah. And you see Lodo kind of using a lot more of these buttons that are just going to completely overwhelm Malarsen and like take that space. He's positioned them perfectly as well. Just, he knows where Malarsen is going to be when he's in the swing. So it's like, yeah. why not put those options out? But overall, it's a very close game here. Oh my like goodness. Set. Wow. That was a clutch roll from Jab, Larson. jab, down tilt, <laughs> up tilt. Oh, wow. This character actually looks so cool. Lucario. Malarson making him look so awesome as Malarson is kind of taking down this, uh, this neutral chain and just converting him to such strong damage states. Yeah, that tip, going, Lardo going for that tip in air or up air looks really good because even if he misses and Malarson air dodges the stage, you have to tech the next one. Oh, wow. He doesn't quite make it back. Okay. It's interesting. I think the, the pressure from Malarson also helped out a lot. Off stage. All right, He's, he has Aura Sphere here. He's gonna toss it out. Take. Oh, he's gonna get hit by that. Wow, I'm so surprised that actually worked in his favor. The back air catching it like a jump out of his hand with another back air. Yeah, it is a QR oh, code the, on a shirt. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder what that says. Actually, knowing Flash, I don't know. Well, I don't want to know where it leads. I kind of want to do it. <laughs> Probably just gonna be a link to buy the shirt. That actually would be really funny. That'd be perfect. Oh, okay, gets a side B command grab. Oh, okay, tries to reach the roll away. Wow, I can't believe that was like the right space and you get a ledge cancel. Oh, yeah. What a down tilt, I'm charging the S dash. Ooh, all right, Malarson looking really good going into Pilardo's last stock. Yeah. This is the best of three, by the way. Again, this could have definitely been a uh, top eight set. Yeah, two players, I would not be uh, surprised to see in top eight. Yeah. Up smash going to Lardo. Okay. Yeah, dude. Can we talk about how many hits on that down air head? Like, oh, that down air is so much hit stun. It's kind of crazy. Like, he's going to go for the Wizards for here instead of like, that down air that we saw in game two. He's, he's kind of like switching up his options. He, he used that uh, forward air. All right. Last stock. Like, oh, yeah, stock. last stock scenario right now. Yeah. Last stocks for the guys. He's got some losers. Yeah, I feel like forward air is an MVP for Lardo right now. Okay, I've seen so many like ledge traps just end in forward air for him, and just Lucario gets like exploded. Yeah, I, I feel like Malarson definitely had like a lot of pressure at that ledge with the uh, with the jab cancels, but now he's getting sent to disadvantage, and that could be a really bad choice for him. Oh my God, jump cancel to up B. Jump cancel to up B, insane yeah. on hit. Yeah, yeah, you get a combo after that. Okay, Bardo not reading the right tech oh, option. Oh, that was so close. Both these players are in kill percent right here. Malarson has Lardo off stage. The Aura Sphere, the side B down tilt. Oh, I'm not reading on the up smash. He's gonna go for the up throw. Try and get that back here. It's not gonna work out. Lardo used the hover. Yeah, that's really good to get him They're getting a, a neutral. Oh my god, the Tidman. So close. Both these players could have it. Oh, the forward air! Malarson's forward. off stage. Wait! Okay, never mind. Actually, Lardo does have to like, cover double jumps. But Larson was just committed to going low. He went in. So dangerous. Oh, the forward the air! Oh. That's gonna be it! Lardo clutches it out. <laughs> Wow. That was so close. Holy fuck.
What a set. Whoops, let me switch that. So that sets up uh, Lardo versus Marcus uh, on our stream. But not next. First, we got Papaya versus uh, AR Hungry. Ooh, Papaya versus R Hungry. Yeah, that should be a good match. Jeez. That was low key crazy. That entire set was kind of crazy. Yeah, that was actually insane. Could have gone either way, whole time. Yeah, this is to make it into top eight. Oh wow. Yes, this is uh, this is our quarters match, oh, or I guess over quarters overall. Oh bet. So we got Papaya Rex, right? Or who do we have? Uh, it's Papaya.